This I wanna nail sports to the bone Top vlog at the YouTube channel No matter which sports here we got it covered Subscribe and hit the notification bell A blessed day to you all my viewers and subscribers welcome back welcome back to the channel my beautiful sports to the bone family well i hope you guys enjoyed that little clip at the beginning of the video with the great man christopher henry gale enjoying himself you know my peeps boy from the other day we see gale making a lot of videos putting up putting some videos out there giving his fans something to smile about and we know that chris gale is a big cristiano ronaldo fan see him hitting the sue and all of that so yeah man hope you guys enjoyed that all right the two main topics that we want to uh, talk about in this one we see where the guyana harpy eagles they are really trying to figure out who is going to be that next leader for them you understand leon johnson is going over the hill now and they are wondering if they are going to go with somebody that is always available over somebody that has good ability and you know when they're talking about someone that has good ability they're talking about somebody like a Kimo paul or a shimran hitmeyer but those guys are usually not available for the full season so we're going to talk about that plus shakib al Hassan, he has once again made the mainstream media not for his cricket but for his comments you know he recently said that the bangladesh premier league is unorganized and you know he only needs one day to turn um to turn things around and to make sure that the franchise you know make sure the teams are are, are good and the tournament runs smoothly so we're going to touch on that a little bit also so just make sure you hit that subscribe button if you have not yet subscribe my viewers and 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 and, and subscribers all right yeah man subscribe subscribe my peeps all right, so let us kick things off with this guy and a Harpy Eagles thing. Now, the headline is saying availability over ability. And they're asking the question whether they should go for availability over ability. And they say a potential leadership challenge um, develops for the guy and a Harpy Eagles. And, you know, <laughs> boy, I tell you, my viewers and subscribers, it's, it's very interesting, you know, because guy and a Harpy Eagles produce some very good cricketers that you would think you know they would they would be there to to to, to captain the team because even last even in the last t20 um cpl we heard them saying you know they are handing over the cricket to the youngsters for them to run guyana's cricket in terms of captaining the different franchise and the different teams there and all of that so you know uh it's it going to be interesting to see who is going to take over from somebody like a leon johnson who would have won i think about five consecutive titles for the um the guyana rp eagles now what they are saying here is that at present life is swell there is um the stability Com um, competitiveness and experience of leon johnson the captain so leon johnson is still there still leading but at the age of 35 they are looking and they are saying that he's going over the hill but you know they 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 you know so they want to find somebody that will be able to um to lead the team now what they are saying is that the main issue would be with the availability they are saying Kimo Paul and Shemran Hetmeyer whether it be for potential West Indies duties or international T20 leagues are likely to be limited in their availability for the Harpy Eagles, especially for a full season in the red ball format. Now, as you guys will, would appreciate, the Indian Premier League starts in March and will run up until June. And Hetmeyer is contracted by the by 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 um by the Rajasthan Royals and is expected to play a key role for them right and 
he's not on a contract, but um, you know, he's not on a CWI nor nor Guyana RP Eagles contract. So he's not going to spend all of his time playing any of these red ball cricket. So they are saying here that since his first match for the Guyana Jaguars back then in 2017-2018 season, Hetmeyer has only featured in 17 matches, missing a host of games for varying reasons, mainly because of international duties. And it's the same thing for Kimo Paul, right? Um, since he would have gotten his big, big, big break at the international level, he has only played a full 10 round games once, and that was in 2017 and 2018 because of av um, unavailable, you know, whether it is because of injuries or playing, um, or, or playing in different leagues. So they are saying that right now, you know, it was in the 2022 Caribbean Premier League that Hetmeyer had his first opportunity to actually captain at the senior level when he captained the Guyana Amazon Warriors. You guys will remember that he was the 2016 West Indies youth captain and I think we, we, we won the title at that time, you know, so they are looking forward to seeing somebody like a Hetmeyer stepping forward and putting the team on his shoulders. But with what is going on these days, you know, I'm not too sure if that is going to happen because, you know, these guys are mostly playing some um, white ball cricket all over the place. So they are saying um, Leon Johnson at the age of 35, you know, he's still there and he is still one of, if not the best batsman they have in the red ball format but you know he's definitely going they are definitely going to need to replace him pretty soon and you know they are saying that by his standards there are still a couple of you know he's still dropping off a little bit even though he's doing his thing you know um he's still there they are saying that um his yo-yo test um you know he's still putting up good 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 uh good 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 scores in the in in, in the yo-yo test even higher than some of the youngsters. So, you know, they, they are definitely looking forward to seeing uh to, to, to seeing him continuing. But, you know, um they, they, they need some youngsters. So what I what I see they, they are saying here is that the current setup people like Tejnar and Shandopal, Tevin Imlak and Prasad can be seen as potential long term candidates. You know, Tejnar and Shandopal has been around um Guyana's cricket for quite some time now and he's now in the West Indies team so you know you will expect that you you would think his his respect um you know the the, the, the players will definitely have more respect for him and thing like that they are saying that um you know uh people like Versami Pramal and Anthony Bramble and these guys they are there and they are veterans where Guyana cricket is concerned but if they are looking towards the future then they definitely need somebody, one of the youngsters, somebody like a Kimo Paul, a Hetmeyer, or a Tejnar and Shando Paul, a Imlak and these guys. But, you know, as I said, it all has to do with the availability of the players. And that is why they are asking if they are going to go, um, if they are going to go for, for, for availability over ability and availability as i said would mean that players that are not well sought after where white ball cricket is concerned so they are always going to be available to play for the team i know i have a lot of guyanese supporters on the channel here you guys just go in the comment section and let me know what you all think about this who should get the captain there once um once uh uh leon johnson is finished so big up on yourself my peeps and that is it for that aspect of the video before we go out before we rush out i don't know my peeps shakib al Hassan back in the news are back in mainstream media for some comments um you know some things that we are hearing is that where the bangladesh premier league is concerned they are they are actually all over the place saying that shirts are not ready jerseys not ready and you know different things not sorted out now shakib is saying that he just needs one day you understand to 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 turn all of this thing around because it's a lot of slackness that is going on there and um they really and truly don't know what is going on where the bangladesh premier league is concerned because it looks like a joke they he's saying that the leaders that are organi organizing the thing they are definitely not 
apparently saying they are not doing a good job and he would just need a day or a couple of days to turn things around and to smooth out everything and make sure that things are run um done properly so it's a possibility that once he, he would have retired we're going to see shakib taking over bangladesh um cricket because it seems as if he has a lot of um ideas but go and leave right there so for now my viewers and subscribers just go and big up on yourself i will touch base later on see it